hello. So in the last video, we successfully installed Sandy. Now it's time to connect Sandy to our Amazon account. So let's go to aws.amazon.com and sign into our account. If you don't have an AWS account, then you need to register one. The registration is pretty simple. You just need to provide your personal details. Amazon will also ask you for your credit card. You need to add that. Otherwise, you won't be able to send uh, any emails. And if you register your account, just log in. Okay, I already have my account set up, so I'll just uh, log in. Let's look for Amazon SES. Okay, first of all, we need to add our domain name. This is the domain name where we installed Sandy. So go to Domains and click Verify a new domain. Don't forget to check Generate DKIM settings. Click Verify this domain. Now Amazon will give you some domain records that you need to add to your domain name. Okay, so first of all, we need to add a, a text record. To do this, you need to go to wherever you register your domain. So I registered my domain with uh, A2 Hosting and I can access the DNS uh, settings here from the cPanel. So I just go to DNS Zone Editor. I select the domain that I want to manage and I click Add TXT Record. I just copy the name. And the value. And I click Add Record. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, the next two is basically optional, but it's, um, it's recommended. So for this, we need to add two CNAME records. Let's add the other one. Oh, actually, we need to add one more. Okay, now if we go back to Amazon, you can see it's uh, pending verification and um, it may take some time, but uh, usually the process is, is very, very quick. If you click here to refresh the page, see it's still pending, but uh, normally it should take a few minutes. Okay, my domain has been verified. Now we need to create our access keys that we will need to add to our Sandy installation here. To do this, we need to go to IAM, which is the Identity and Access Management. Here we need to create a new user. We'll call this Sandy, and the access type will be Programmatic Access. This way, we'll get our access key ID and secret access key that we will need to add here. Okay, click Next Permission. Here, click Attach Existing Policies directly. 
let's search for Amazon says full access and Amazon SNS full access. Click next tags, next review, and finally create user. Okay, now we have our access key ID and secret access key. We just need to copy them and paste it in Sandy. We also need to set the Amazon region. In my case, I'm uh, in my case, I'm using Europe Island. So in Sandy, I select Island. I click Save. When this is the first time you set up your Amazon SaaS account. Your account will be in sandbox. You will be able to send only 200 emails per per day, I think. But because my my account is uh, has already been uh, approved by Amazon, uh, you can see everything is in green. I have a daily quota of 50,000 emails. But if your account is new, you will need to request uh, from Amazon to raise your uh, sending limit and uh, get you out of the uh, sandbox. Basically, you will just need to send Amazon uh, a support ticket uh, requesting that uh, your sending limit should be lifted. So you just have to go to support center and you need to create a case. You need to select service limit increase, limit type. You can search for SAS sending limit you need to select what kind of uh, emails you are trying to send, marketing, subscription, etc. And you need to answer all these uh, questions. Those that are optional fields, you don't need to uh, fill out. Uh, you need to select your region. So in my case, I would select uh, EU Island. And um, here you have to tell Amazon why you want the limits to be uh, lifted and you can just write something that you'd like to send emails to people who subscribe to your newsletter. You are using a newsletter software called Sandy. Uh, you provide options for, for your subscribers to unsubscribe from your newsletter at any time. And, um, and usually after a day or so, uh, they will uh, approve your account. Okay, let's um, let's go back to our SES account, and uh, this one is also an important uh, part. So here you need to verify all email address that you use with uh, Sandy to send out emails. So you need to verify those emails. Okay, let's. Add one. Okay, it's pending verification, but uh, Amazon sent me an email. Okay, I received the email, so I just need to click on this link. Okay, and if I go back here and uh, refresh, my email is verified. Okay, so you have to repeat the same if you use more than one email addresses to send emails. In the next video, I will show you how to create uh, campaigns, how to create uh, email lists, and um, some other useful things with Sandy.